Hello everyone, how are you? My name is Andrew Hockrottle and today I am going to be showing you everything that you need to know about Adobe Express. Now, if you are a business owner who's running their own social media, if you are a creative professional who's a little curious about Adobe Express, if you are anywhere in the middle, Adobe Express is for you. It's such an easy way to speed up your workflows, to create on the go, and if you don't have any design knowledge at all, I'm gonna give you just enough today and this week for you to understand how to be creative, how to create your own content, and how to be an awesome creative. That's what we're here to do here on Adobe Live is help you all be a little bit more creative. So let me go ahead and show you what's coming this week. We're actually doing a very special event all week every single day at 10 a.m. Pacific time or 6 p.m. British time. That's right, we're hanging out with you over um, in London, over in Europe, hello, hello. Um, so you can join us every day. We have industry professionals coming in to show you how to use Adobe Express in your workflow. Now, I'm a brand identity designer, I am a creative professional and I have scheduled a lot of content for us. There is content coming up for um, how to use your brand and how to create an Adobe Express for a business owner who may not be familiar with design, but there is content for designers as well. So tomorrow we have Liz Mosley talking about how to use your brand in Adobe Express. Then we have Hadrian coming in to talk about scheduling on social media. Um, Annika is going to be coming in to show you how to make your own template so you can pass off to clients or you can just use again and again. And then Claudia is going to finish out the week talking about how to create in, uh, how to, sorry, how to use Creative Cloud with Adobe Express. So it's going to be a great week um, here on Adobe Live. If you want more info or you want to sign up um, for those uh, lessons, you can actually go to behance.net slash challenge slash express. This is the place to be. And each morning you will get a nice little notification right here that there is a new challenge available. This is somewhere that we can all work together and we can all learn together. All right. Announcements are done. Hopefully, if you're watching the YouTube replay, uh, you saw the chapter, you skipped over the announcements. And now we can get started. So I have built a template for you. It's a little crazy and it's a little chaotic, but that's fine because today we are talking about the basics of Adobe Express. So all you need to do is go to behance.net slash challenge slash express. There will be a link down in the description and over in chat. Yep, you're that way. Um, so go ahead and go there and click right here on get started. And what this is going to do is this is going to open up a page and this page is going to show you a template, right? And at the bottom is a button. This is a very important button to say remix the design and that is what we're going to be using today. So again, you're clicking on the link. Step one, you got it. Step two, go ahead and click on get started right here. And it says, let's get started, but it looks a little bit wonky, we can fix that. We go down to remix this design. That's where we want to start and we'll all be remixing together. So click on remix design and it's as easy as that. With Adobe Express, if you have a template, you can create anything. Uh, it's so easy, so intuitive and helpful for me as a creative in my process. So step one, we are in Adobe Express. I'll give you an overview of what it is and how to use it. But the first step of any project is naming our project. So I'm gonna come up here where it says my project and I am just going to click and rename this project to be, um, let's say getting started. That sounds good. All right, so we have getting started template and here we are. This is the file that we're going to be using today. And I'll show you some of the basics of actually being in a creative uh, space with Adobe Express. And then we're actually gonna go backwards and talk about some of the quick actions, talk about setting up a new document and all of the kind of foundational pieces we're gonna do at the end, cause it's a lot of logistics. I want us to get in and have some fun creating. So as you can see, this is our template that I have created for you here in Adobe Express. Now you can click and drag around and start to explore and see how things work. Basically Adobe Express 
is like a scrapbook. That's how I like to talk about it. And we are just laying down stickers. We're creating cutouts. We're pasting in pictures. Um, we are putting in text. We're writing on it, right? So that's all it is. Think about it that way that everything moves in pieces and you can augment and change those pieces to create something really fantastic. Uh, I also want to say hi to everyone in our live chat. Hi, live chat. Uh, you're over here. So if you see me looking, I'm looking right at you, chat. All right, so hopping in here, let's go ahead and click on something. We did it. Congratulations, you got started in Adobe Express. Uh, so clicking on this image, you can see that it changes the context of the bar that we're working with over here. Uh, we can add all kinds of elements, which we'll get to, but I want to show you as you select these, this side will actually change. It is contextual to what you are working on. And so as you move around your document, you'll see that this side will change a lot and that will let you know what the options are for what you can use. Now, next to me right here, you can also see a stack and this is all of our layers. So if you're working on a template, there are a lot of pieces. Click on that and you can see each of the individual pieces that you can move around. Again, think of it as a scrapbook. You can see every sticker or picture or piece of hand lettering or writing that you've created right here. And you can actually click on this and edit it. So on the side, we have edit shape because we have a shape selected right now. But if I click on let's get started, that's typography, that's letters. And so when we click on that, it's going to give us a new menu to change the text, right? Pretty cool, so super easy. Um, all right, so someone in our chat has a comment that I wanna read. Lori is saying, I love Adobe Express, I've used it quite a bit. I'm looking forward to this bootcamp because I know there's a lot of little nuggets to learn. Yes, this week we have so many nuggets for you to learn. Uh, today I'm gonna try to throw as many at you. So uh, get your little nugget trays ready, a uh, little side of sweet and sour. <laughs> all right, so let's keep going here and hop in to how to augment some of these things. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to change out a photo. I think if you're working with templates, especially something like this, you definitely need to be able to change out your photos. So if you see something in Adobe Express, like this circle that we have right here, you can see in our panel that that circle is right there. Uh, all you need to do is click on that and then from this, you can click on replace. Now I'll show you how to upload your own photo in a minute, but I wanna show you if you're working with a template, you very much wanna be able to replace your images so you can make it your own. So go ahead and click on replace right here and you can select anything from the Adobe stock integration, right? Which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and type in here and maybe I want something that's a little more floral, right? So I'm going to type in tropical flower, tropical flower, there we go. And it's using the power of Adobe stock to find all of these tropical flowers. Um, let's maybe do just general flower and see what happens here. Ooh, you know what? I kind of like this sunflower. I think this is cute. So I'm going to click on this sunflower and you'll see with replace selected it is going to replace that sunflower in here. Now, because this shape is cropped in, all we need to do is go to crop and shape right here. And then we're able to change this to move it around to zoom in. We can use the scale right here. So we're gonna scale this up a little bit and then I click and drag and I can drag this into the middle of that circle to have a nice kind of starburst on the sunflower. So we're gonna hit the check mark and boom, we've got a nice little fun sunflower there. Um, and Robin is asking, can Adobe Express be used for print? Yes, you can. You can use it for print. You can download to a PDF. Uh, you can download this as a PNG, uh, all kinds of options for you here. Now, if we want to move things around on our artboard, all you need to do is click and drag as easy as that. Click and drag things around. Now, I want to show you one more thing that you can do with photos, and that is being shown here on our fun little friend, this little frog. So selecting this frog, you can see that it is see-through, right? There's no background to this frog. I'm going to take a drink real quick. There's no background to this frog, which means that the background has been removed, right? We grabbed it, yeeted it out the window. We don't need it because we want it to be transparent. But let's say that we get this image and it has a background still. So I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna show you how to grab an image. All we need to do is over here, uh, we need to search in photos. So you can click right here on photos and then we are going to type in tree frog. Spelling frog with an N. 
Uh, so we typed in tree frog and maybe we want one that's a little bit different, right? Maybe I like this guy right here to put in the corner. So all I need to do, check this out, is click. And yes, thank you frog emojis in chat. And you can see here that we have our little friend in the picture. Um, and I actually, I do want one that's climbing. And so if I don't want this image, right, I put it in here and I decided I don't want it, I can select it and just hit delete, or I can come up here and click on delete. So I do want this one that is climbing and I'll click on that and he will show up right here. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale them up so we can see a little bit better. And here comes the magic. Andrew, we wanna put him on the background. We want it to look like he's climbing. Well, let's go ahead and click this single button and watch what happens. Dun, 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 dun. The background is removed. Check that out, so cool. So all we're gonna do is we are going to hit done right here and you can see now he is removed from the background. Easy, squeezy, lemon peasy. Now, if we wanna switch him to the other side because I want him to be climbing up a little bit differently, we can just go ahead and click right here, flip horizontal, boom, flipped horizontal. If we want him to be a little bit at an angle, we can do that right here at the bottom, just click and drag to rotate him right there. Okay, looks pretty fun. Uh, let's go ahead and actually put him up here. So we've got maybe a little bit uh, with the text that we can overlap right there. Sure, why not? All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna move this over here and then rotate this one so that we have a little bit of a different thing right there. Looks good. And something that I like to do when I'm working with uh, things with, that have cut out backgrounds is I like to create a shadow. So super easy to create a shadow and here's how you can do it in Adobe Express. Click on the image that you have the background removed from. Then we are going to duplicate that image by clicking on duplicate. Easy, there we go, duplicate it. Now we're gonna do some fun with all of the filters that you see right above me. So these effects can be applied to any image and we're actually gonna hack them a little bit to create a shadow. So what we're gonna do first is we are going to turn on the blur and that is going to blur this out just a little bit right there. So you can see we can blur that out. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to turn on filters and filters are a really great way for us to augment our photos to create something cool. Now, what I'm gonna do with this filter, this is a little insider hack for you, is right now we are using the Duotone. And if I use the Duotone on an image, you can see here that the Duotone is going to change it to these two colors, right? So right now, all of the shadows are pink and the highlights are white. But if we wanted to, we can select our shadow right here. And what happens if we Duotone, but both of those tones are black? Well, what happens is, you get a really great shadow on your subject. So right there, we have a really great shadow looking good. And then you can adjust the shadow right here using the opacity. So if we want a little bit less of a shadow, we can adjust the opacity right there. And if we wanna move the shadow around, we can click and drag to give some extra dimension uh, to move that shadow around. So check it out, it is now on the text looking good. And if we want to go ahead and group these together, we can click on the top one, hold shift, click on the bottom one, and then click on group. And I'm gonna move him back down to this corner right here. So we can have his hand over the text. And that looks pretty fun to me, right? Okay, so we got it. We got him climbing up. We've got that shadow. It's looking good. Now let's do something with this type. It's a little all over the place. And this border that we have on the top here, not loving it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, boom, hit delete, it's gone, we don't need it. So let's go ahead and put some cool type in here. Uh, I'm gonna delete this type and we could augment it. If you're working on a template, you can augment it very easily up here. Um, this is probably familiar to you, so I can kind of go through this, but let's start with creating from scratch. Uh, if you wanna use a template, you can change the size, you can change the font, you can change the color. Easy peasy, you know how to do that, you do it all day. So I'm going to delete this and let's start from scratch. Let's create some really awesome typography. All we need to do is click on text. And from here, I'm going to click on add your text. Now, if I don't wanna start with my own text and I wanna use a template, look at this. There are so many templates built for you of adding text to Adobe Express. So sales, if you're working and you have your own company, you can find right here, all of the sales, click on more, and it's going to give you a ton of lockups that you can use for sales. 
all of these are editable. So if you like this kind of Y2K look, you can click here, it's going to apply this on, looks great. We can scale this up and then you can actually edit all of these details. So you can double click in and you can see all of these elements that they've used to build this background. By clicking on these, you can come in here, you can change the colors very easily if we want it to be white. Um, everything in Adobe Express is editable, is customizable, is very easy. Uh, also, if you have any questions as we go through here, feel free to put them in chat. I am reading live, unless you're watching the replay, put them down in the comments. So. I don't love this one, so I'm actually going to delete it. There are a ton of templates in there that you can use. We are going to create from text. Sorry, create from scratch. So we're gonna click on add your text, and here we are going to do, um, let's say, uh, Safari Sale. I don't know why I'm in a safari mood, but I'm loving animals, and we might add some more. Uh, so we're doing a Safari Sale, it looks good. Now, I'm not in love with what's happening with this text, right? This is the font that I had in there. So all I need to do is I can take the suggestions. So Adobe Express is synthesizing, is thinking, is going through all of the different pieces of my design. And over here on the right, look at this. It is suggesting fonts for me. And what's cool is as I move this around, right, it is suggesting these fonts. And let's say that we like this one. So all I need to do is click on this. Boom. And now we have new type, right? Pretty cool. Look at good. Uh, so we have it here. We also can click on explore more and it's going to give us a bunch of different options. Now I saw this one pop up before and I saw it go away and I was like, I want it back. And so this looks like a really fun option. So I'm going to click on this and check it out. We have some really cool type coming in right here. So fun. All right, so we have it here. Let's go ahead and uh, change the color of this type. So with that, we can go here and we can click to change the text color. Now, the cool thing is that it is pulling colors from the current palette. So anything that I'm using, it is pulling those colors in. Now, I want it white. There's not a better option here. I think white gives us a really good contrast. So I'm going to leave it white. But I do want to change some of the alignments, right? It looks like the letters are a little too far for me and there's a big space in the middle here. So clicking on spacing, I can change the line spacing to get it closer together by dragging this down. And then we can change the letter spacing if we want it to go a little bit further out or pull it in all the way. And I like it in as tight as possible, uh, looking good there. Now, Here's where it gets crazy and here's where you can have a lot of fun is clicking through these effects. So clicking through the effects, you can actually see that you can add backgrounds, you can customize, you can change, you can do all kinds of great things with your type. So if you need to have some separation, you can add a nice little background. It's just creating a rectangle here. If you wanted to click mask text, what that's going to do is it will make the text see through. Right, so if you want this kind of badge look, you can click right there on mass text to make it see-through. Or you can click right here on white and check that out. It has created this kind of label look that I think is looking pretty cool, but we'll explore some other things. So to explore other shapes, all we need to do is click right here on shape, and that is going to give us a ton of shapes to play with, right? Let's say that we're working and we are at a film festival suddenly. You can click right here, boom, film festival. Um, if we wanted to do something that feels a little more Parisian, maybe you have a bakery and you're making some baguettes. Uh, you can click right here, boom, Parisian for the Paris. Uh, but for now, I don't know if I want necessarily a background on this. So I could do a circle if I want it. That's kind of cool. Uh, but for now, I don't think I'm going to do this because I want to show you something else. I got it. I'm ahead. So we can add a shadow here if we wanted to, just to separate a little bit as well. Or we can create an outline on our text if we wanted to, very easy options. Okay, those are all well and great. Let's show you the real magic of Adobe Express. And that is right here in the curved grid and magic alignments. That's right, magic. It is magic alignment time. We're gonna click right here and look at these options. There are nine incredible options for you to experiment and play around with. Now, let's pick one of these. If you're in chat, give me a number one through nine and we'll see what it looks like. 
I am going to start with the one that we probably won't use, and that is number nine. So we're gonna click on the drop cap, and you can see that it is formatting that text for me. So the magic right down here, right, magic text is going to give us all kinds of awesome different orientations. Now with two words, it's a little iffy sometimes. Uh, it's better if you have more content that you're trying to work with. Uh, this one right here is great for doing word clouds. If you have a lot of ideas you're trying to communicate, creating that idea cloud is looking good. So right here, capitalize and fit, that is just going to make it so that it fits whatever orientation you're here. So if we said Safari sale and it was this month only, you can see that it's locking everything out into that block and that magic is perfect so that you don't have to format anything, you don't have to change it. As I scale this, you can see that it's actually scaling to the text on my document, right? Magic. All right, so I like that one, but all right, here we go. Safari sale, back to Safari sale. Uh, it looks like we have people saying number five. So let's look at number five, one, two, three, four, five right here. All right, so that's stacking our text, looking okay. Let's go ahead and create something really weird by using this curved text. So this is the one that I love and curved text, check this out. It is creating this nice little rainbow look for us. Uh, and this is great to combine with two different pieces. So we're gonna do Safari sale and then I'm going to do this month only. So I'm gonna duplicate right here. We've used that before using duplicate, but I'm going to change this to be right here on the bottom, inverted semicircle. Boom, right there. So we can scroll this down and then from here, I'm going to do this month only. And you can see it is formatting that for me so that it fits into that space and it is looking good and tasty. I'm gonna take away this little swash right here, don't need it. Uh, and maybe we want to have our nice little friend moving right here. And you can see as we move this, uh, it is going to continue to move this around, right? And maybe we want him to be over the text. All we need to do is grab him and bring him up to the top. And now we've got a nice little piece uh, to drop on top. So Safari sale, we're deleting this. We're, we're basically going to start from scratch as we iterate and kind of explore this. Uh, but what we're going to do is we are going to start animating this text. So I'm going to put in a couple more elements and maybe some, I'm going to do some branches coming out the sides. So we're going to do this and we are going to do um, uh, maybe jungle branch leaf. Got it. Okay. Ooh, some vines. Okay. This is looking pretty cool. Let's do this one. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the background really quick. Easy peasy. We're going to hit plus and then I'm going to flip this right there and I'm going to rotate it over. So we've got a couple more minutes here and I'm going to show you one more thing in Adobe Express. So we have our image here looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and group these together. And we're just gonna align that to the center. So we've gotten our image here looking good. What we can do is click on animation and this is magic. At animation, we can click in typewriter and it's going to animate that text in for us, right? Really cool, super easy, super fun. Uh, you can play around with all kinds of different options here, right? We can have it slide in from the side, really fun. We can have it flicker in, do some dynamic stuff. I like the typewriter. Now you also can animate the photos. So let's say that I want to pan these photos in. Look at that, pretty cool. Um, or maybe I wanted this over here, right? We can animate those in, or we could even zoom those in. I think that's kind of fun. Sure, so let's go ahead and just pan them in. And what we can do is we can hit download, and then we can download as a video. Uh, and if we download as a video, we can actually convert it to a GIF very easily. So we're gonna click on download and that is going to download it for us. You can see that it is saving right now and then it will download onto our computer. So saving, 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 download. And I'm gonna go back and I'm actually going to show you how to create a GIF using this, right? We're gonna convert it to a GIF very easily so you can use it in email marketing and all of that fun stuff. So downloading, downloading, it is saving right now and we have animation on there. Uh, so as we download, once we have that download, all we would need to do is come back. There we go, downloaded. We'll come back, click on Adobe Express right here and go to quick actions. These are awesome actions for you to be able to change and explore. And let's go ahead and we want to convert to GIF. 
All we need to do is click on browse on our device. I'm gonna go into my download and grab my template right there. And you can convert this into a GIF right here in Adobe Express. So there's all kinds of quick actions for you to use. You can generate QR codes, change video, convert your images, combine PDFs, all kinds of amazing options. And if you don't like my template, there are all kinds of templates for you to use right here. So thank you so much for joining me. I know that we blitzed through and did a million things, but we have all kinds of content coming to you all week. And you can go to behance.net slash challenge slash express to tune in for all of these. Every morning we will have a new challenge for you. Uh, if you want to see the full playlist and set reminders, you can go to adobe.ly slash may ex express. Yes, adobe.ly slash may express. Set your reminders. Come back every day, 10 a.m., 6 p.m. British time. And I'll see you another time here on Adobe Live. Stay tuned. There's great content happening all day. Next up is Wade Acuff uh, doing some illustration, one of my favorite streamers. And then after that, we have Sam Peterson. So thanks for joining me, everybody. I will see you again another time later today. Bye.